Kieran Rowell, the Managing Director of Quad Financial. Director, thank you for taking the time to Our pleasure. talk to Automated Trader at this year's 2009 Trade Tech event in Paris. Kieran, um, tell us a little bit about how you see the, uh, the whole issue of fragmentation playing out over the course of the, the rest of this year and into next year. We've had an announcement this week from, from Zitra um, regarding their plans to, to enter the market later on this year before the quarter. There seems to be uh, more and more venues announcing plans uh, uh, almost every week, it seems. Do you see this continuing? Um, I, I do believe it will continue. Um, fragmentation is a, a direct uh, result of uh, business uh, drivers in the industry. And if, you, you know, if, if there is a business uh, demand for additional liquidity venues, then that inevitably uh, people will come into that space. Um, a, a good example is looking at the U.S. liquidity space. So over time, we've seen many entrants come in, many entrants fall by the wayside as dynamics have changed. Um, in the current climate, liquidity is going to continue to fragment. As it continues to fragment and as players either succeed or fail, uh, new entrants will come into the space. So far this year, four new entrants in Europe, um, at least another four in the pipeline, and the new entrants are out to grab market share. By doing so, they're introducing new fragment and new liquidity profiles. Chiax also announced a dark pool during the course of the last few days. That changes that liquidity profile uh, from being a transparent to a transparent and uh, dark pool combination. Yesterday they were trading 25% of LSE volume intraday. Again, that drives the, you know, other players to kind of come into the marketplace and say, there is absolutely a place for me to do some business here. And how far is that sort of continued expansion to stay with this? Um, I think it's, a, it's a going to be a very landscape situation. Um, if we look again back to the U.S., we've talked oftentimes about the U.S. being a test tube for Europe. Um, realistically, when you look at the U.S., you can see that markets have come, markets have gone. Uh, but the early incumbents who have really invested heavily in new technologies that are driving the change, new business paradigms, um, new pricing models, then there is an opportunity for players to enter and continue to enter. Uh, but there's also consolidation that will happen. And I think consolidation in Europe may be sooner than the historic uh, norm for the US. Um, two types of challenges for the buy side. The first is uh, really their access to the markets. You know, today they go through a broker uh, layer that basically is driving uh, flow into venues. And, you know, sometimes that flow into venues is directed by a result of broker's investment in a particular venue or a broker's particular preference for venues. Uh, so sometimes the buy side doesn't necessarily have a clear view as to their act, whether they're getting the best execution or not. Um, the second is transparency. Um, most buy side firms haven't really invested in technologies that give them direct views into what the market is actually doing. So as they're becoming more sophisticated and they're looking at the market data, the underlying uh, macro and micro data that drives their decisions, uh, they're also contesting whether or not they're getting the best from their brokers. So as liquidity continues to fragment from the buy side perspective, um, they, they want increased sophistication or increased increase transparency as to how the brokers are addressing that uh, new liquidity profile. So trading in the right place now is a, is a significant driver of uh, profitability. Absolutely. What are you, um, tell us a little bit about what, if you had an announcement this week uh, to coincide with trade tech regarding your own adaptation of a, of a, of a smart overlooking concept. Tell us a little bit more about that. Of course. Um, this is the second generation of our smart order router. Uh, just to give you a little context on our first generation, and then that'll help build out why we've uh, changed some of the ways we do things. At a macro level, we have a smart order uh, router technology um, that takes account of real-time events. So it's uh, very much driven by real-time events uh, occurring that allow you to change the strategic nature of your execution policy. Um, the product release that we've just announced also now starts to take uh, real-time pre- and post-trade data, I would say more near-time, 
uh, allowing you to make predictive decisions about where you're going to uh, send your orders uh, from an execution perspective. So if I bring that to life for you, um, there's a lot of information available that's statistical data. Um, how, do, how did the markets, uh, how are the markets fragmented? What kind of trading happened in which market yesterday, for instance? And that's all valid historic data to have access to, which allows you to say, you know, for these instruments, I might target these two or three markets. Um, but now, today, in the last hour, two hours, how have these markets been trading uh, is much more relevant. So our new smart order router technology, new release, allows you to look at that information, uh, look at the resting time on an exchange, look at the quality of the fill on that exchange, look at the ability to do it in a rapid way, uh, allows you to predict where the market might be uh, and speed up your execution strategy. Uh, and what does that translate to, Viren, in terms of, in terms of execution performance? Uh, faster performance. Uh, more predictable performance. Your, uh, you know, the classic is that you might send an order off into a venue, and you might just be on the wrong side of it because of the volatility intraday. Uh, because of the volatility intraday uh, in a particular security in a particular market, you may get yourself into a situation where you're on the wrong side of the trade, right. and then you'll be stuck in there. So the idea here is predict where the market might be, try that out and then on an on, ongoing real-time basis monitor the market to pull yourself out of something and put yourself into the venue that's actually trading at your uh, required price band. Very good. Are these products available now? Uh, available, general availability and release now. Uh, we have beta clients using it. Fantastic. Well, here in, I wish you all the best. Um, best of luck with your, with your product launch. It's the second generation of the smart software. And uh, all the best for the remainder of your time here. Thank you, John. Appreciate it.